Hi, I'm Abby Morgan. I am coming to you from my dorm room. Um, in this video, you will be learning how to play soccer. I've been playing soccer since three years old, so I will be helping you along the way. Throughout this video, you will learn on the different tools, as in like what you need when playing soccer, what you're gonna wear, all the simple rules in playing soccer, and the positions and what they're going to do in soccer. By the end of this video, you should know the rules on how to play and at least be able to do like a little pickup game or somewhat understand it, um, or at least understand the World Cup going on right now. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off first with what materials you're going to want to use and have when playing soccer. In my bag right here, I have all the different tools and utensils that we're going to start off with. We are first going to start off with our cleats. These are shoes you're going to want to use for outdoor soccer. They have spikes on the bottom to clench into the grass, making sure you get a good stable grip when kicking the ball and running. Where in futsal, which is indoor soccer, the shoes are going to look the exact same, except for they won't have any, uh, um, any spikes on the bottom and they're just going to be flat. As you can see, we also have a sock-like material on the ankle. Some soccer cleats don't have these, but these are my favorite because it helps make sure my shoe isn't going to fly off when I'm kicking the ball if I don't have it on tied on correctly. So this is an example of some socks. You're usually going to want to start with a black or white pair, but if you're joining a team, you might have a different color. Like my high school team was red, so I'd be wearing a red pair on game days. These socks are going to be very long and you want to pull them up past your knees like in so in the photo. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is use our shin guards. These shin guards are going to go on your shins and you're just going to slide them right under your sock. And this will stop for like, this will pretty much protect your shin as shin guard. So if a ball comes and hits it, it's, you can hear, like it's going to knock off, you're not going to feel it. People will come and um, hit your shins. You're an, it's not, it protects your shin. So it looks like this. And you can see there's padding on the back. That really gross padding on the back. And then this is our pre-wrap. So shin guards can either come like this where you just slide them in. And usually what I do is um, my pre-wrap is wrap it around my leg so it won't slide around. Or you have straps on the back where you slide in your shin guard and you straps. And you strap your shin guard on. Obviously, the next thing you're going to want is your soccer ball because this is what you're playing with. So, my soccer ball is a size 6 and they do come in different sizes, but it all depends on your age range. So, usually, if you're in high school, you're usually going to be using a 5 or a 6. Um, if you're a younger kid, so if you're like in middle school, like higher elementary, you're going to be using a 5, around a 5. Um, and then if you're using a 5 or 4. And if you're a little kid, you're going to be using like threes. And they, it just depends on the whole size. This is going to be your goalie. They stand in the back and block the ball from going into the goal. Only play, That's the only player that's allowed to use their hands, except for when a person on their team passes back to them, they can only use their feet. These are our defense players. So you usually have three to four. You have a right and left wing defense and your midfield defense. These players usually stay on their side of the field and barely go on the other half of the field. They stay back and defend the goal. You have three midfielders. One in the middle is usually called a striker and the two on the sides are called wings. You have a left wing and a right wing. These players in the midfield mostly do running. They can ball back and help out on defense and also rise up and help score goals. Most of the time they will be running and transferring the ball between players. These players also mostly do throw-ins and corner kicks. You usually have one or two forwards. It honestly depends on how many midfielders you have. These forwards start off the game and they stay upfield and attack the field. Most of the time they are the ones making the goals. Here are some simple rules on the game of soccer. So the first rule is, is that only goalies can use their hands. No other players can use anywhere on their arm to hand. If it hits since the handball, they drop the ball where it is and the other team will kick that didn't, that, the one that didn't hit the hand. The next one is is that you cannot be off sides which this is means that if i'm on the other team's side of the field and the ball or a player is not in front of me 
and I'm in front of them, then I will be off sides and the ref will call that and you have to do a kick. Um, and then to be not offsides, the ball has to be in front of you on their side or a player has to be right next to you or One in front is of that you. you cannot pull or grab their shirts or trip them or fall and like bash into them. Um, otherwise that will get called and you'll probably be getting a yellow flag. And if you get enough yellow flags, you will get a red flag and get kicked out. Um, you can now like nudge people and stuff, but you cannot like fall an elbow into the back, push pull a shirt, none of that. Throw-ins and kick-ins. If a person on the other team kicks out the ball and it's a throw-in, which means it doesn't, it's not on the goalie side, um, then the other team gets a throw it in and you want to have it to where it's right behind you and you throw it straight over your head and your feet have to stay on the ground the whole time. If one foot lifts up, they're going to get you to redo it and you can't redo it other than one, one more time, then it goes to the other team's throw-in. Um, now for a kick-in, that's if the team kicks it out, um, then the kick-in would be the goalie or the goalie kicking the ball up the field. Now if I'm on my side of the field and I kick a ball out, then it's going to be a corner kick and then that's when you go to the corners where the flag is and the other team gets to kick it and then everyone will be in, will be in goal and trying to get into goal. I am done explaining soccer, so I hope you enjoyed and I hope... It helped a lot understanding the game. Thank you.